Hey, Sold Out Saturday friends. I set out on a quest to find 30 people with 30 praises for 30 days. Are you in the number? Will you help me praise him in spite of all the things that's been going on all the time at the same time in 2020? Will you help me? Hello everyone, my name is Michelle Antoinette and I've been asked to participate in 30 people, 30 days, and 30 praises. It is an honor to be asked to share my story. Um, 2020, as we know, um, for most of us, it has been a turbulent year, full of ups and downs, disappointments and blessings. But through it all, God has been my stronghold. God has been my mainstay. God has been my protector. When the enemy came in like a flood, God sent his standard, his word. And because I stood on his word, because I obeyed his word, and because I relied on his word through the midst of the turmoil, um, he showed himself strong for me. I think often that when I'm going through trials and tribulations, it's because God has allowed it. He knows that he can trust me. He has told Satan, have you considered my servant, Michelle? And God knows he can trust me. And I'm thankful that um, I just held on, that I held on. Um, a lot of deaths in my family, a lot of personal issues, health issues, but God remained strong. He remained merciful. He remained faithful in my life. The enemy came in to try to tear down a relationship I have with my only granddaughter, tried to come in to tear down my relationship with my daughter, to the fact that the enemy um, said I couldn't see my daughter anymore, my granddaughter anymore, I'm sorry, I couldn't see my granddaughter, and she's my only grandchild, she's my fourth heartbeat, um, and it was, it was hurtful, it was really hurtful, but in it, God gave me peace. God told me to go down, go lay down and go to sleep. He would handle it. God knows that I don't want my peace disturbed. Um, when I worry, then I've taken it out of God's hands. So I've learned not to worry. I learned not to focus on what could be or what should be. I know God is in control. And because of my obedience, God showed up for me. He has reconciled my relationship with my daughter which has now allowed me to see my granddaughter again. I stood on the story of the Shunammite woman when her son died in the field and she went to the prophet and she said, and they asked her, where are you going? It's not a Sabbath. Where are you going? Is everything okay? And she said, it is well, it is well. And I said, it is well, because I trusted God and I yet trust God. Um, we have a lot of hard lessons to learn daily. Um, some we can get through with, with flying colors. Some lessons are not necessarily meant for us, but it's meant for others. But we're the one that God uses um, to teach others the lesson that he wants them to learn. I thank God that he finds me faithful enough to be used. No matter what I go through, I just stand on the promises of God. 2020 has allowed me to connect with people that I would have never connected with otherwise. We meet so many people on Facebook and we say, this is my friend on Facebook. This is my friend on Facebook, but we never have a human connection. 2020 has allowed me to do that um, because it started by a letter writing campaign. He um, gave me the idea to write letters. And I asked people, I posted it on my page, who would like a letter from me? I think I ended up writing about 22 letters. And of those 22 letters, probably all but six were written to complete strangers. Um, and they said how much I blessed them, how much they enjoyed the ministry that God has given me um, to be a part of Mamas and Daughters Healing Through Forgiveness. And I have now develop friendships we actually talk on the phone we text that came out of the pandemic um so i hope my message encourages you 
inspires you to know that God is yet on the, strong, on the throne. Um, he has not left us. And no matter what happens, we have to keep our eyes towards the hills from which cometh our help because our help cometh from God. My help in this situation with my daughter and my granddaughter, it came directly from God. God bless you all. Be blessed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What's your story?